Looks like there's a new car in your father's driveway. Oh, that's Christina, dad's new girlfriend. Oh, and she drives a Jetta? How cute, is she a little skanky? Actually, she's really cool. She's coming with us to Universal this week. Universal, with a complete stranger. Okay, that's an interesting parenting choice. Remind me to speak to my lawyer. <laughs> I'm telling dad she said that. And what's so great about this Christina person anyway? Does she give you guys beer? Well, she's really nice. She helps us with homework. She doesn't gaslight us or emotionally manipulate us. Just, you know. Well, she sounds like a big old B word to me. That's funny, she calls you some B words too. Well, isn't that nice? I hope you have a grand time at Universal this weekend with your new mom. I hope that's so much fun while I'm here, depressed and lonely all by myself, probably gonna start drinking again. Bye, mom. Uh, Lily John, sweetheart, remember, no pigging out while you're on vacation, okay? Watch that gut. Mom, you suck. Mom just sent me like 20 texts. Really? She hasn't texted me once. She's asking for pictures of dad's new girlfriend and asked me what her last name is and then told me to turn on my location. Just send her a picture of like a minion's butt. <laughs> but should I tell dad? No, don't let her ruin this vacation. She's doing this on purpose. Well, what if she shows up here? She's not gonna show up here. Lily John, don't underestimate that woman's tenacity. It's terrifying. Amberjack, we're at Universal. We're hours away. There's nothing she can do. Excuse me, I need you folks to come with me. We have a bit of a situation here. Uh, dad? This is all mom, I'm telling you right now. There's no way. It's all right, guys. Hey, officer, what can I do for you? Sir, we got a report stating that these two children have been kidnapped. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. If I was kidnapping someone's kids, why would I bring them to a theme park out in the open and hang out with them? People do very strange things, sir. Okay, well, these are my kids. Dad, I see mom hiding in a bush over there. Arrest her, arrest. So how was the weekend with your father? Well, apart from you trying to get dad arrested for kidnapping us on his weekend, it was pretty good. That's great, honey. What is your sister wearing? What phase is she in this week, huh? Hey, Amberjack. Uh, hi, Lily John. Hi. Well, I'm glad you chose to come with me this week. Did you just miss me so much? <laughs> no, it's just that me and Amberjack want to work on our world in Minecraft and dad's Xbox is still broken, so we have to use yours. Oh, well, maybe we can go shopping, get you some new clothes. No, thanks. I kind of want to go shopping. Yeah, it'll be fun. Let's go to the mall. I guess I need new shoes. Sure, but no heels, Lily John. Okay, young lady, I don't want you to look like a little whore knit. <laughs> You know, you guys could be nice to me. You can laugh at my jokes. It's okay. It won't hurt you. <coughs> All right. Well, who's ready to go shopping? Whoa. Can I get these? Oh, okay. Well, let's look for maybe a different pattern. I just don't want to buy into that propaganda. But I like these. Or how about we find some red, white, and blue ones or maybe some with little American flags on it. I think that would be a little bit more appropriate. Mom, that's not going to match my hair. But we need to be showing our support for our country and our troops, okay? We wouldn't want anyone to get the wrong impression of you either, especially this month. <laughs> Well then how come when I ask to donate money to those homeless veterans, you say no? Because that's not the same thing. Well, our school is celebrating pride this month and everything's rainbow, so I just wanna be supportive. Wait, your school? Yeah, my classroom too, it's pride. I specifically send you to a Christian school because I don't want this communism in the classroom. They talk about it in church too. Yeah, everyone's being supportive except for you. This shopping trip is over, we're going home. So, does anyone wanna to listen to music? Yeah, Jojo Siwa. Why does my pickaxe always break? Because you made one out of gold. Oh, I just got blown up. I'm done with this game. Fine, do you wanna play something else? Yeah, do you still have Call of Duty? No, mom uninstalled it because she said it was giving her schizophrenia. What? But I have GTA. Mom thinks it stands for Geometry Tutoring Assistance, so she tells me to play all the time. What do you do, just drive around? Yeah, that's, that's definitely a part of it. Oh, I just ran over some dude. What are you guys playing? Xbox. Why is it so graphic? Mom, it's not real, it's just a game. No, turn this off right now, I don't like this at all. No, 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 please. Turn it off or I'm going to unplug it. Fine. I can't stand that X system box. It's, I'm about to smash it. No. Why, are you addicted? No. Do I need to send you to rehab? Projecting. This is your father's fault, isn't it? You bought me this game because you manipulated me. Oh my God, there's a dog in our yard. Really? It better not be Mrs. Garfield's poodle again. No, it's not a poodle. I'm gonna go get it. No, Amberjack, that's disgusting. We don't help the homeless. But it's a dog. Ugh, I'm calling animal control. Ugh. Oh, it's leaving. So you don't have to do that, mom. It's leaving. I need you two to find something more productive to do. Okay, this is my me time. Stop bothering me. I wish we could have got it. It didn't actually run away. I just didn't want mom to call the pound. <gasps> Let's go get it. Let's do it. Do you think we should bring food? Yeah, I'm gonna get the food that mom made last night. No, I'm pretty sure she poisoned that. Wait, what? Come on, I got the snacks, let's go. Oh, here she comes, come on. Come on, come on, let's bring her inside. Come on, let's go to my room. 
Wait for me. We did it. We did it. I know you guys are upset, but I don't know why you thought you could sneak a dog into my house without me noticing. Well, you didn't have to send her to a shelter. Let's not focus on all the negatives. It's your birthday weekend, so let's be positive. Don't you want to open that gift I gave you? You didn't get me a gift. Well, maybe you shouldn't have said that we weren't friends and I would have got you something. Yeah, but I'm still your child. Amberjack, did you open it? You got me a Bible. Fun, huh? Maybe you can read it to your sister. Hmm, it's too bad that you have to spend your birthday weekend with your father. I couldn't imagine a more horrendous way to celebrate my life. It's okay, we're gonna have a party. Oh, and I'm not invited? No, sorry, I only invited my friends. You can come if you want. Is the new girlfriend gonna be there? Yeah, Christina helped us pick out all the decorations and the cake. And I'm not comfortable with another woman throwing my children a birthday party. Okay, but you're welcome to come. No. Whatever, Amberjack, let's just go. I just wish you two cared more about me. Mom, please come to the party. No, I'm not wanted. Okay, so we have cookies, brownies, and cake. Do we need any other dessert? No, this is already way too much. Well, you can never have too much dessert for a party. I just don't want to be tempted to eat it. Oh, um, well, can I ask why not? Because I need to watch my weight. Oh, mom always tries to make her feel bad about her weight, even though we're the exact same weight, just two different genders, so it's extremely contradicting. Okay, well, we're gonna talk about that later, and in the meantime, just enjoy your birthday party and eat whatever you want. Okay. Man, I cannot believe the things that that mother says to her children. It's horrific. Oh, I hear you, and I'm on your side, always. But uh, this might be a good time for me to tell you that Amberjack did invite her tonight. <laughs> but will she actually show up? Well, she texted me and she asked if there was going to be any booze at this party, so I told her yes. And then she said that her and her smoking hot new husband will, quote, be here. We're not having any alcohol at this party. Well, at least she has to show up to her kid's birthday party to figure that out. Well, this will be interesting. Yeah, but could we just open, like, one present early? Oh, my friends are here. Ha, oh. Hi, sweetheart. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, well, you didn't think I'd actually miss your birthday party, did you? Harold, say hi. What's up, kiddo? Hey, mom, I'm surprised you showed up. Of course I'm here. I'm not gonna let some crazy woman throw my children a birthday party. Hey, who was at the door? Oh, hello. Harold, my purse is in the car, go get it. Hi. Mom, this is Christy. Chris? Her name is Chris? What a weird name. That's a man's name. You know her name is Christina. You've literally called the police on her. Uh, no, that wasn't me. Okay, well, we're just happy that you're here for the kids. Oh, well, as their real mom, I know what's best for them, so. So I've heard. Kids, wouldn't you rather spend the day with mommy instead of stay here with ugly Chris? Mom, you're not even inside yet. I can still slam the door in your face. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not eating this food. I would never serve this to my children. Disgusting. Looks pretty good to me. That's because you're an idiot. Mom, come on, it's time for cake. Cake, already? No, it's much too early. I'm not ready for cake, not yet, no. Mom, this isn't your house, nor your party. Amberjack, are you ready? We need you. Uh, Christina, this is between me and my son, okay? I did give birth to him, thank you. Okay, well, everyone's still ready to sing happy birthday to him. Amberjack, come on, it's time for cake. Uh, Lil, do you seriously think you're gonna shove a cookie down your throat and then eat cake too? Just ignore her. Mom. You're embarrassing yourself in front of all of your friends. <laughs> wow, if you need a clown at your birthday party, this one's free right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you found the surprise. But how did how did you Amberjack? Did you call me a clown? Harold, get my purse. We're leaving. But I was just about to have some cake. Well, this party is being worshipped by the devil, so we need to leave. What happened? Your new girlfriend is trying to bombard my motherhood and take over my children's brains. Oh, you're still here? Oh, speak of the devil. Stay ten feet away from me. What is going on? This blonde bimbo has actually endangered and murdered my child's ability to follow instructions properly. Okay, well, when I see someone getting bullied, whether it's an adult, a child, whoever it is, especially in my house, I step in. <laughs> Christina, it's not bullying when it comes to my own child. <laughs> okay, bullying, abusive, whatever you want to call it. Honey, why don't you calm down? Everyone's having a good time. Harold, I brought you here to defend me and to go get my purse. I was hoping to get some cake. Harold, I swear to God, I've been drinking their cheap liquor all day and I need to go home. Does she realize there's no alcohol in that? Shh. Let's go. I can't believe they had the audacity to throw me out of my own children's birthday party. You just demanded we leave. Well, I'm calling Janine and I'm telling her all about this. Could I go back to the party while you do this? Janine, you are not going to believe what my ex-husband just did to me. No, no, I'm talking like police level involvement. Oh, Harold, I thought you guys left. Yeah, I don't really know what the hell she's doing, but um, I just wanted to give the kids a birthday present before I left. Yeah, of course, I think they're inside playing with the new dog. New dog? I love dogs. Oh, and Harold, 
I did save a piece of cake for you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need that. Harold, I didn't know you were still here. Hey, kiddos, birthday's not over yet. I got a few more gifts for you. You didn't have to get us anything. Oh, uh, come on now. Whoa, I finally got black nail polish. <gasps> You got me the rainbow shoes? Yep, saw them at the mall, thought of you, so I picked them up. Lily John, drop those shoes. Hi, welcome to Mimi's Cupcake Sweet Tooth Emporium with all things cupcakes and cupcakes only as we specialize in cupcaking sugary delights exclusive to that of cupcakes and cupcakes only. What can I get you? Yeah, can I get a hot dog? <coughs> I don't know if, if you heard all that, but um, we only sell cupcakes. This is cupcakes only. Oh, for real? You didn't know this was Mimi's Cupcake Sweet Tooth Emporium with all things cupcakes and cupcakes only as we specialize in cupcaking sugary delights exclusive to that of cupcakes and cupcakes only? I really wanted a hot dog. Well, how about a frosting hot dog? <laughs> Hell yeah. Now I can work with that. Well, all right. You guys got a lot of cupcakes. We sure do. So, do y'all sell weed? Absolutely not. Are you gonna go to mom's this weekend? Uh, no. Oh, come on, I don't wanna go by myself again. Then just don't go. Yeah, but then I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? I don't know, I just don't want mom to think I don't care about her. I don't care about her. Not even a little bit? I mean, maybe like this much, but that's it. Oh, she just texted me and said that she's here. Yikes, good luck. Hi Jackie, is your sister coming? No, which means I have no one to hang out with so it's gonna be super boring. Oh, well you can hang out with me. Can I just invite a friend over? Uh, who? Uh, how about Connor? Oh no, <laughs> no, his mother had an abortion. I don't want that sort of influence around you. A what? How about Bethany or Cheryl? Mom, those are your friends. Yeah, but they've known you since you were born. How about Danielle? Da Danielle? Is that short for a boy named Daniel? No, it's just a girl in my class. A girl? So your school is sexualizing education now. She's the only reason I'm passing math. Mom, I'm bored. Well, I told you, you can always hang out with me. Fine, what do you want to do? We could clean that room. <laughs> or we could read quietly together. Oh, I have an idea. We can go clean up trash all around the neighborhood and make it look all nice. Oh, you boys come up with the grossest ideas. That's disgusting. Yeah, but don't you care about the environment? Jackie, of course I do. I have a pool. So? So I'm contributing to evaporation. You're welcome. Well, can I just go by myself? No, I'm not having my son buy into that pyramid scheme. How about I get you some lunch? Well, I'm not gonna say no to food. You're awfully quiet back there, just texting away. Who are you talking to? No one. Uh, Amberjack, I need honesty. Who are you texting? No one. Uh-uh, give me the phone, give it to me. Mom's a wackadoo? You need to get out of my car, get out. Okay, it's more environmentally friendly to walk anyway. Get out! What are you doing home? I thought you were with your mom. Oh, mom told me to get out and walk, so I just walked back here. Uh, okay, okay well, come inside, come inside. Amberjack, did you get in trouble already? I don't even know. <laughs> well, now you can just spend the weekend here instead. Uh, it looks like your mom just pulled back into the driveway. We should turn off all the lights and lock all the doors and just pretend that we're not home. Lil, that would be hilarious, but we can't do that. Let's go see what's going on. Where is he? Where? He's inside, he's fine, he just got here. You, you did this. Uh, I didn't do anything. You are the reason that I have no control over my own children. Okay, hold on. I will hold nothing unless it's my child. Mom, I'm not getting back in the car. <gasps> Jackie, baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You told me to walk, so I walked home. Well, you should have walked to our home. Mom, your car is rolling down the driveway. What? Oh my God, lock the doors. Bye, mom's car. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my God, Ma'am, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, ma'am, I need you to be a little bit more specific. <laughs> My son is in trouble. I need an Amber Alert. Okay, when was the last time that you saw your son? Painfully long ago. Okay, and where was the last place that you saw him? He's, he's with a woman of high criminal activity. He, she leeches off of my ex-husband. Okay, and do you have any reason to believe that your son might have run away? Of course not! Okay, How okay, dare you? okay. I just want my son back. I completely hear you. What's your son's name? <sighs> Amber Jack. Is this Meredith again? Uh, no. No, Meredith, I know it's you. You're the only person in town with a child named Amber Jack. And I've told you time and time again, you cannot call an Amber Alert on your child named Amber just because they're not listening to you. Wait, but is he missing? I miss him. Hi, sweetie. Is this gonna be quick? I have to make an announcement for the pep rally this evening, so I'm trying to prepare for that. I, I don't know how long my feelings are gonna take. Okay, and is this something that maybe you could just solve independently? No, that's why I came down here for guidance at the guidance counselor. Oh, Hey, Jenna, are you going to the printer? Could you grab that paper? Thank you so much. All right. Okay, what's up? Hmm. Um, yeah, so I think I have depression. Oh, how old are you? Seven. <laughs> Where did you even learn such a big word? 
uh, life. Okay, hold on. Let me stop you right there because I know a lot of young girls your age like to, you know, pick a diagnosis for attention and there's just no biological way that you could have depression at your age. Oh, okay. So when everything I'm feeling aligns with the description of depression, I don't have depression. Right, because at your age, your serotonin is just too high to be depressed. So if I just deny how I'm feeling, it'll go away. What a relief. Depressed. You guys are so cute. Got a call from Lily John's guidance counselor today. Apparently she's depressed or I guess I, I don't know. I, I bet it's from that show she's been watching on Netflix. I need to take that subscription away because I'm sick of this drama. Wait, she's sad? I don't know. It's always something with that girl. She has every emotion all the time. And I, her and Amberjack look exactly alike, but they act like two totally different people. It's crazy. Now, isn't that the whole concept of twins? Harold, you wouldn't understand. You're not a mother. You're basically a walnut. Yeah, but I know about being sad and I wouldn't want anyone to be sad. Yes, but she's not actually sad. She just wants attention, I presume. Okay, well, if that's the case, then why aren't you giving her enough attention? Me How is this my problem? Right, but, but who else is supposed to help her? You know what? I'm her mother. I know what's best for her. All right, so what can we do to help her? Ignore it. It'll go away with age. I don't think that's right. No, no, I did take a psychology course. I failed. Stop camping and killing me. That's not how you play. Shut up. I can play however I want. <sighs> Stop. <sighs> Ow. Do you want to die in real life? Ow, Lily John. Hey, come on, guys. Let's not. We don't need to act like that. Idiot. He's making me mad. Okay, so then tell him that. I tried! Okay, well then maybe we should just turn the game off since you guys have escalated to actually punching each other in my living room. Well, she did it first. Wimp. Okay, are you guys ready for your haircuts? Yeah, but I have a question. Okay. Um, I was just wondering what you would say if I wanted to get my hair purple. I would ask if you had the money to pay for it. Okay, and would I get in trouble if I did it? If you want to spend your money on purple hair, I'm not going to stop you. That's your money. And you won't be mad? It's not my hair. Okay. Whoa, sweet. I love it. Oh, mom's gonna be so pissed. Why? Because my hair looks better than hers. <laughs> You're gonna get in so much trouble. She doesn't talk to me and I don't even go to her house. What is she gonna do? Wow, that is purple. <laughs> I love it. And the bangs are very cute. What about my hair? It's shorter and less floofy. You look great. You guys ready to go? Christina, is Lily John gonna get in trouble? No, why? Ugh, Amberjack thinks mom's gonna freak out. Yeah, but I mean, she freaks out about everything. <laughs> I just sent mom a picture of Lily John. Amberjack, can we not instigate? Amberjack, why didn't you tell me? I would have smiled. She said, be right there. Why is she always so creepy? Who's creepy? Mom, mom, how do you do that? Lily John, is there anything you want to say to me? Um, yes, the allowance money you gave me directly funded this hair. Okay, okay, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. I'll deal with it. Okay. Oh my God. So that was their mom. I'm not surprised. She already showed up at the hair salon. Dad, look at my new hair. Oh, I heard. I, I heard all about that. And honey, it looks great. But but what? Your mom's just really upset that you didn't communicate this with her. Okay, yeah, but she finds a problem with everything that I do anyway. So why not do what I want to do and be happy? You know, I think there's been a lot of issues between you and your mother, to say the least. And I think it would be good for you two to spend some time together, just the two of you. Okay, no, not doing that. Well, I think it'll go a long way with her if she sees you trying. And if you work on communication, you can talk about how you feel and maybe work on a better relationship with her. <sighs> Fine. It's just one weekend. And at least you can say that you tried. Wait, but are you sure you're going to be okay all by yourself with mom? I don't know. This might be the last time that you see me. What do you think she's going to do? Well, best case scenario, she won't talk to me. And then the worst case scenario is that she does talk to me and that will result in me running away. Oh my God. Well, turn your phone location on if you run away so I can find you. Thanks, Amberjack. Have a good weekend. Don't die. Hey, mom. Wow, I hardly recognized you. I thought there was a purple crayon getting in my car. <laughs> no, it's just me. Wow, I'm surprised you're coherent with all that hair chemicals spiraling around your brain cells and just popping them all up and making your brain into mush. So anyway, dad says that we need to work on our relationship. <laughs> Did he? Well, he's one to talk about relationships. He's the entire reason our marriage imploded. Wait, I thought it was because you maxed out all our credit cards and then put our family in severe debt and then cheated on dad. Is that what he said? I divorced him because he's such a liar. Hmm, interesting. So, what do you like to do for fun? Um, well, do you know TikTok? TikTok? It's 4.30. No, no, mom, it's the name of a video app, and one of my favorite TikTokers is gonna be in town this weekend for a meet and greet. Tick, 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 tick. So maybe we can go do that. Who is this person? Lulu Sarah Monopoly. 
Oh, well, is that the one that's locked in the canoe, the canoe ship? No, mom, that's Britney Spears and also Free Britney. You know, I have a very special idea. Okay, this is gonna be even more exciting than meeting Lolo. Really? Who? Oh, it's a surprise, you'll have to see, but I think you'll be very, very excited. Is it Jojo Siwa or Charlie D'Amelio? Not Charlie D'Amelio. Please, please tell me. It's Jesus. What? Isn't this fun? <laughs> no. Lily John, wait. I'm just going to my room. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. I don't have the patience to deal with whatever she's doing right now. What? Aren't you supposed to be working on y'all's relationship? Harold, you goddamn meat patty. What? Hey, sweet girl. Why are you upset? Because I feel like you never listen to me. You make fun of the things I like. You make fun of me. It's hard to be around you. Okay, but my problems matter too. I never said they didn't matter. I'm saying that we only ever talk about your problems and we never talk about mine. Okay, fine, I'm listening. What's wrong? I just told you. I, I wasn't listening. <sighs> okay, never mind. I tried. How'd it go? Oh, she just shut down. I tried everything I could. I tried everything in the book and she just won't talk to me. Oh my God, I can't listen to that song. It's so stupid. I, no, I like that song. Well, then you like terrible music. Thanks. Well, what song do you like, mom? Well, I really like that one song by Sil- Dumb. Excuse me? What else do you like? Well, I also listen to Paula Abdul- So dumb. Why are you speaking to me like that? I'm your mother. I'm your daughter. Yes, but I'm the parent, so that means I don't have consequences. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Amberjack, he's just imitating your behavior because you're the parent, right? So we learn from you, right? You know, sometimes when you speak, all I hear is this, and I don't know what you're trying to say to me. How convenient. I think we need to have a meeting about manners. <laughs> Great idea. We would love to talk to you about manners. You've both been a little bratty. Well, you raise us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> get out, get out. 